Margaret Sullivan was a talented actress known for her natural style and distinct voice. She starred in many films in the 1930s and 1940s. Her role in The Shop Around the Corner is often remembered as a highlight of her career. Now think about her performances. Which movie do you feel was the key to her success? Can you recall a scene that left a strong impression on you? Share your favorite memories or experiences related to Margaret Sullivan in the comments. We're eager to read your stories and stay tuned because we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about her life to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about this remarkable actress. Margaret Sullivan significantly influenced the film industry with her naturalistic acting style and strong screen presence. She was known for her ability to convey deep emotions without overacting, which was a departure from the theatrical style popular in the early days of Hollywood. Her performances in films like The Shop Around the Corner and Three Comrades showcased her talent and helped to shape a more subtle and realistic approach to screen acting. Sullivan's work also opened doors for actresses to portray more complex characters, contributing to the evolution of female roles in cinema. Despite her relatively short career, her influence extended beyond her era as she inspired future generations of actors with her dedication to her craft and her ability to create authentic and memorable characters. Her legacy in Hollywood is reflected in the continued admiration for her films and the acting techniques she pioneered. At 29, Margaret Sullivan welcomed her second child, a girl named Bridget Hayward, with her third husband, Leland Hayward. Her life mirrored some of her dramatic roles, such as Ray Smith in Backstreet, where she and co-star Charles Boy's characters meet tragic ends. Off screen, both actors died from overdoses. Sullivan's death was accidental, Boy is a suicide. Sullivan's love for New England's charm led her to a Connecticut-style colonial home in Brentwood, California. Later, she found her dream home in Brookfield, Connecticut, a classic saltbox house set on a sprawling 100-acre estate, reflecting her appreciation for the region's picturesque landscapes. Margaret Sullivan's life was marked by both joy and tragedy. At the age of 28, she welcomed her first child, a daughter named Brooke Hayward, with her third husband, Leland Hayward. The family's close ties extended to Peter Fonda, a childhood friend of Sullivan's younger daughter Bridget. Deeply affected by Bridget's suicide, Peter honored her memory by naming his daughter Bridget Fonda. Years later, Brooke Hayward channeled her experiences into the book Haywire, a candid account of her family story which resonated with many and became a bestseller. The book's impact was further amplified when it was adapted into a television movie with Lee Remick portraying Brooke, bringing the family story to a wider audience. Margaret Sullivan's early acting days at Harvard University were a prelude to her successful career. She stood out in the University Players, where she acted alongside James Stewart, Henry Fonda, and Kent Smith. Her role as Clara Novick in The Shop Around the Corner is still remembered today. That same year, she joined Stewart, Frank Morgan, and William Edmonds in The Mortal Storm, showcasing her range as an actress. The bond between Stewart and Sullivan grew from their shared experiences in the University Players, a summer stock company. It was this connection that inspired Stewart to pursue acting further, leading him to New York with Sullivan and Fonda to take on new challenges in the world of acting. Margaret Sullivan made a significant decision in her acting career when she declined the role of Ellie Andrews in the film It Happened One Night. This choice led to Claudette Colbert taking the part and winning an Oscar for Best Actress. Sullivan's talent shone through in her portrayal of Patricia Holman in Three Comrades, which earned her the only Oscar nomination of her career. Her acting ability was such that Henry Fonda, in personal correspondence, likened her to a delightful combination of sweetness overlying a strong character. This description was later shared in a biography of Fonda and James Stewart, highlighting the respect and admiration she garnered from her peers. Margaret Sullivan brought life to the character of Freya Roth in The Mortal Storm, showcasing her acting skills alongside James Stewart and Frank Morgan. This performance came shortly after her role as Clara Novick in The Shop Around the Corner, a film that later saw the trio reunite for a radio adaptation. Despite her success on screen, Sullivan faced personal challenges. She struggled with otosclerosis, a hearing condition that progressively impaired her ability to hear, particularly higher frequencies. This condition influenced the unique quality of her voice, which became known for its throaty resonance, as she could hear lower tones more clearly. Her career was a testament to her determination and talent overcoming the hurdles of her condition to deliver memorable performances. 
Margaret Sullivan's marriage to Henry Fonda was stormy, marked by intense arguments and emotional clashes. Fonda himself admitted to the volatile nature of their relationship, describing it as a series of heated fights over seemingly trivial matters. Despite their shared passion for acting, their personal life was far from harmonious, leading to a separation that Fonda recalls as a tumultuous blur. Professionally, Sullivan found success alongside Robert Young in films such as Three Comrades, The Shining Hour, and The Mortal Storm, showcasing her talent in a range of roles. Her acting skills were recognized to the extent that she was considered for the coveted role of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, a testament to her standing in the film industry during that era. Margaret Sullivan's personal life saw dramatic turns akin to her on screen roles. Her marriage to Henry Fonda, a union that began with promise, ended in divorce after two years, although they had separated just four months into their marriage. Her family connections extended into the entertainment industry through her former sons-in-law, Peter Dutchin and Dennis Hopper. On the professional front, while portraying Louisa in The Good Fairy, she found love with the film's director, William Wyler. Their romance blossomed amidst the production, leading to their marriage. Sullivan's life, marked by both fleeting and enduring relationships, reflects the unpredictable nature of both her career and personal endeavors. Margaret Sullivan, known for her strong will, faced challenges with the script of Three Comrades. She found F. Scott Fitzgerald's original dialogue unworkable, leading to a significant rewrite by Joseph L. Mankiewicz and Edward E. Paramore Jr. Her determination for control was evident during The Good Fairy, where she disrupted filming to ensure her needs were met, even if it meant halting production. Her actions, though seen as difficult, didn't hinder her forming a bond with director William Wyler, resulting in marriage amidst the movie's creation. Despite plans for her to star in Within These Present, the project was shelved, leaving fans to only imagine her performance in the unrealized film. Margaret Sullivan's portrayal of Clara Novick in The Shop Around the Corner is a testament to her talent and the high regard of director Ernst Lubitsch, who postponed the film's production to secure her, and James Stewart for the leading roles. This film marked the final collaboration between Sullivan and Stewart, capping off a series of four movies they starred in together, starting with Next Time We Love, and including The Shopworn Angel. The story of the shop around the corner originates from the Hungarian play Perfumery, which has inspired various adaptations across films and musicals. Despite the success of the original film and the play's enduring popularity, not all adaptations have been successful, with several Broadway productions struggling at the box office. The narrative found new life in the digital era with You've Got Mail, bringing the timeless romance into the age of online communication. Margaret Sullivan brought a unique presence to the screen, often leaving a memorable impression on her co-stars. In the shop around the corner, she played Claire Novak, a role that challenged even the experienced James Stewart. He struggled to deliver a line while acting opposite her, leading to an unusual number of retakes. Her determination was evident when she insisted on continuing until the scene met her standards. Director Joshua Logan spoke highly of Sullivan's charm and beauty, noting her strong will and ability to captivate those around her. These qualities shone through in her performances and interactions, leaving a lasting mark on those who worked with her. In Three Comrades, Sullivan portrayed Patricia Holman, a character who, despite battling tuberculosis, was always seen with a polished appearance. This contrast highlighted Sullivan's skill in maintaining the glamour of her character even under dire circumstances, showcasing her dedication to her craft. Margaret Sullivan, known for her role as Clara Novick in The Shop Around the Corner, was a dedicated actress whose work ethic was evident in her performances. Director Ernst Lubitsch sought to remove the usual glamour from his film, going as far as to have Sullivan's inexpensive dress bleached by the sun and tailored to fit awkwardly, ensuring authenticity on screen. Beyond her acting career, she was a mother and grandmother, welcoming her son William Hayward with her third husband, Leland Hayward, and later becoming the grandmother of Marin Hopper. Margaret Sullivan faced significant challenges in her life, including a worsening deafness by 1960 that led her to rely on lip reading. This condition contributed to her deepening depression, and ultimately, she took her own life with an overdose. A biography set for release in August 2019 aims to shed more light on her life and untimely death. Despite her known temper and negative view of Hollywood, her co-star James Stewart found joy in working with her, particularly in the shop around the corner where she portrayed Clara Novick. 
Stewart's personal connection with Sullivan helped him navigate her emotional ups and downs during their work together. Tragically, her son, William Hayward, also met a sorrowful end, dying by suicide on March 8, 2008, at the age of 66 in Castaic, California. Margaret Sullivan stepped into the role of Ray Smith in Backstreet after Joan Fontaine, who was initially cast, left the production. In another film, The Shop Around the Corner, she played Clara Novick alongside James Stewart and Joseph Schildkraut, who both had won Oscars and Frank Morgan, who was also nominated. Tragedy struck when her youngest daughter, Bridget, passed away at the age of 21 from a drug overdose in her Manhattan apartment, mirroring the cause of her mother's death just 10 months prior. In the early part of 1936, Universal Studios was preparing for a grand celebration of Carl Lemel's 30 years in the film industry. They publicized their upcoming projects and trade papers, highlighting a film titled Strangers at the Feast with Margaret Sullivan as the lead. However, the role was later given to Jane Wyatt, and not long after, the project faced cancellation. The film Strangers at the Feast never reached production, leaving it as a what could have been in cinema history. Margaret Sullivan, known for her natural acting style and distinctive voice, faced a tragic end. Despite her success on screen, she struggled with personal issues throughout her life. The most shocking fact about her is that she died at the age of 50 from an overdose of barbiturates, which was ruled a probable suicide. Her death was a sad conclusion to a life that saw both bright stardom and dark personal challenges. 